Dean Chancellor Rulo, I'm honored to announce that members of the graduating class, the faculty and staff of Chapman University, and representation from the Board of Trustees and Administration are now present. All are gathered here for the class of 2023 commencement of the Dale E. Fowler School of Law at Chapman University. Thank you, Professor Howe. Welcome to you all. Please stand to face the flag as we listen to our national anthem and remain standing for the invocation that will be offered by Sheikh Jibril Spate, Director of Muslim Life and Chaplain to the University. Yeah, you got to stay standing. <laughs> <laughs> Beloved Panthers, <clears throat> as I say my invocation, I ask you to let yourselves take a few moments and reconnect with your souls. Now, the first two things I'm going to pray for you for may seem silly, but honestly, we all need to pray for you all for this one, these two. Firstly, if you're in debt, May it be easy for you to pay it off. Second of all, may each of you pass your bar. Uh, ah, okay. See? See? <laughs> may you all, may your legal studies be the solid foundation you desire in building your career and lives. And may you be courageous and ethical legal practitioners, demonstrating good morals and manners. Never compromising your humanity and being a trustworthy, knowledgeable advocate for your clients. May you find and develop healthy coping skills needed to in dealing with the pressures and demands of being a legal practitioner. May you learn joyful humility when you win a case and the art of deep introspection when you do not. May you be a beacon of justice, shining a light on the importance of law in our societies explaining it clearly to your, to your communities and seeking to improve the legal system in letter and spirit for every single person. May your relationships with your professors flourish even after you leave Chapman's walls. May you always show respect, gratitude, mercy, and love to those people out there who gave you the same. May you exit Chapman ready to take on the legal issues awaiting you, emulating the great jurists the Supreme Court have deemed to be the most influential jurists in the history of humanity. And finally, beloved Panthers, may you, your families, your friends, Fowler's faculty and staff, and Chapman University be a blessing to domestic and international societies. May this graduation be a blessing one. Amen. Please take your seat. Thank you, Shakespeare. 
Good morning and welcome everyone to the commencement ceremony for the Dale E. Fowler School of Law Class of 2023 at Chapman University. My name is Marisa Chancharulo, and it's my privilege to serve as interim dean of the Fowler School of Law. On the stage with me are Chapman University Provost Norma Bouchard, Fowler School of Law faculty, members of the administration and board of trustees, and student leaders. Thank you all for being here to support our graduates. It is with great pleasure that I now announce the 2023 valedictorian and the recipient of the Carmelina Doty Academic Excellence Award. This award is given to the graduating student who has achieved the highest cumulative academic record of the class. This year's valedictorian is Isaac Abginasaw. There he is. <laughs> Congratulations, Isaac. The 2023 academic honors are awarded to graduating students whose cumulative academic records reflect levels of highest distinction, high distinction, and distinction. I'm going to ask each of the graduates to stand when your name is called. Graduating summa cum laude, Isaac Abginasaw. <laughs> Graduating magna cum laude, Rachel McMains. <laughs> Patrick Nicholas. Zachary Princhy, Nicole Rickard, Haley Ritter, and Jared Shahar. Graduating cum laude, Zachariah Amin. Alexandra Amos. Samantha Atherton. Piper Broccoli. Robert Chan. Samantha Kuo. Hunter Leopard. Caden McClure. Rochelle Miller. <laughs> Kyla Nguyen. <laughs> Corbin Smith. <laughs> Joseph Tube. Holly Williams, and Gabrielle Wong. Congratulations to all of you. Now it is my great privilege uh, to introduce our keynote speaker. 
Fatima Yusufi is the starting goalie for the Afghan national women's soccer team. <laughs> Usually, um, we have someone speak to us at graduation who is in the legal profession, someone who is a lawyer, most often a judge. But I thought, after reading Fatih's story in the New York Times, that she would be especially inspirational to new lawyers. Like you, Fatih is at the start of a new journey. Like you, she has overcome adversity and obstacles to get where she is today. Like you, she benefited from a society that gave her opportunities and that allowed her to pursue the dreams that she wanted for herself. Fatima, if you had the chance to read um, what is, what, uh, actually it's a story in the New York Times that has won multiple um, awards, including a new one just last night. Um, if you had the chance to read it, you know um, that Fatima had to flee her home country of Afghanistan when the Taliban retook control of the country in August of 2021 as a prominent national figure, as an elite female athlete, as someone who had lived her entire life making her own choices, she was suddenly in danger. And she had to leave Afghanistan very suddenly with a number of teammates and family. And it was lawyers around the world who helped her and her teammates find safety in Australia. So Fatih, her sister Bibi uh, came with her, have joined us all the way from Australia today uh, to be here to speak with us. So I'm gonna turn the microphone over now to our distinguished speaker, Fatima Yusufi. Good morning, all. I'm so excited today to be here, and it's a very great honor to be here. And seeing you all um, with smiley faces, it's the thing that always makes me happy and going to my dreams and uh, never give up. So um, I am Fatima Yusufi, uh, known as Fati. Um, so it's my second family always calling me Fati. And, that's the time that I uh, was a, uh, someone for my teammates. Um, so I should start from the time that I grew up in Afghanistan. Um, I grew up in Afghanistan during the um, 20 years of democratic uh, democracy. And it, was, um, it wasn't a perfect democracy, and um, it's not really our. But it gave me opportunity that under the other regimes during that other times, I may not have had um, that time. Like women of colors in here in USA, in Australia, or many other countries around the world. I had, ba I had two barriers to break through. And I had two barriers to being who I wanted to be. I'm a woman. And I am from a minoritized ethnic group, the Hazaras. In this Afghanistan, the Afghanistan of democracy, the rule of law, I discovered soccer, known as football in our country. I learned the games. I learned how to be a goalkeeper. Living in a free society, I was able to focus hard on my sport and eventually become an elite athlete in age of 16. I became a goalkeeper for the first time when I was 16 years old um, on 2017. And seeing women's excellency um, 
art sport was inspirational and inspiring for the not only um, children, not only young boys or girls. It was very inspirational for the women's and also grown-ups, men's and women's too. It means a lot to break the barriers for me, um, especially using uh, sport as a platform in my life to go and break the barriers for a long time that we had. I had fans, I had team, I had a role of leadership on my team. Playing soccer made me believe that I could break down the walls. I could go to university, I could be a businesswoman, I could do whatever I wanted to do, and I was willing to work hard on it. That's all ended in August 2021. The Taliban, which had been removed from power 20 years ago, retook Kabul and in the entire country. Democracy and the rule of law came to a terrifying end. As a prominent national athlete, my life and lives of my family was in danger. So I had to flee Afghanistan. It was lawyers as well as athletes, sports officials and human rights activists who helped my teammates and many other families and to escape from the Taliban. We not only had to get out of the country, we had to go to somewhere safe, somewhere to start from the beginning, somewhere to be um, the person that we wanted to be. The lawyers work hard together to find us a way to get out of Afghanistan safely. We waited anxiously for a word, and finally it came to Australia. Australia had agreed to take us on. I'm living in Australia now with my two brothers and one of my sisters. I'm hopeful my parents will, and my little sister as well, can join me soon. I continue to play soccer, and I continue to make plans for my life. This brings me to the end of this part of my life story, which is really a new beginning. Like today, it's a new beginning for you all. I'm not a lawyer, but like you, I, I have faced many difficulty and hardship. Like you, I work hard. Like you, I learned the skills. I needed to be the best and and what I want to do. Like you, good enough isn't good enough for me. And like you, my story doesn't end with this new beginning. You are lawyers now. You can make an incredible difference in people's lives. I hope as you begin your career in law, you remember how the law helped someone like me to reach heights that had never seen before in my country. And I hope to remember how the law and lawyers helped me find a safety and democracy came to an end. Congratulations to you all. I hope to see you. I hope you all see every challenge in your life and take it as a chance to show how strong you are. And thank you for listening today. And thank you for the difference that you will make in people's life in the future. Thank you. Thank you so much, Fatima. Now it's my privilege to introduce the Provost and Chief Academic Officer of Chapman University, Dr. Norma Bouchard. Thank you, Dean Chancharulo. I can tell you how pleased I am to confer on these distinguished graduates the Chapman degrees they work so hard to earn. In the more than 160 year history of Chapman University, perhaps no class has ever been better prepared to meet the challenges and the opportunities before them. Many of you have received distinguished honors. Others are the first in your family to earn a university degree. All have had success through incredibly challenging times. I congratulate each of you as I do everyone who supported you along the way. 
I look forward to witnessing your future achievements as your determination and, con and curiosity continue to drive the impact you will make on your communities and across the world. No matter where you go, you can take all that you have experienced and learned from with you. We hope that you will return often to reconnect with us as cherished members of the Chapman family. You are always welcome here. We shall now proceed with the presentation of candidates for degrees. Each candidate has been approved by the faculty and the board of trustees to receive the degree indicated in the program and on their diploma, subject to the completion of all requirements. And now, will the candidates from the Fowler School of Law please step forward? Hello, I'm Ralph Zerone, EMBA class of 2014. As your Alumni Association president, I'm thrilled to be among the first to welcome you, our newest graduates, to the Chapman University alumni community. To the class of 2023, welcome and congratulations. What does it mean to be a Chapman graduate? You are now part of a global community that is over 50,000 members strong. Chapman alumni are industry leaders, innovators, and world changers who rise to new challenges and seek opportunities to make an impact. Ethical global citizens who are committed to serving the greater good, who look out for fellow alumni, cheer each other on, and when opportunities come along, always think Chapman first. As part of the Chapman alumni community, you'll stay in touch with the people who matter to you, like your former classmates and the faculty who guided your education. And you'll also expand your horizons as you cross paths with fellow alumni across the globe. It's much more than a network. These are powerful connections that last a lifetime. Together, you play a vital role at Chapman, both on and off campus, from volunteerism and mentorship to attending events and recruiting future Panthers. Alumni are the ambassadors of the Chapman experience who inspire each other and the next generation of the Chapman family. Wherever you go, wherever life leads you, you can count on the support of your Chapman alumni community because once a Panther, always a Panther. Stephanie Kathleen Delaney. Anna Carvajal. JC Knox. Haley Chris Dean Cummings. Jennifer Kim. Conrad Frisch. Robert Thomas Graswich. John David Kelly. Sherlock Lau.
Bailey Luigi Lemieux. Thomas Charles Truitt. Samantha Josephine Safari. Philip Alexander Safari. Eliana Gahari. Kylie Coleman. Jacob Pace. Nicholas Eric Hauser. Shadi Namaranian. Yen Quach. Ayesa Gian Raimondo Sotelo. G He O Emmeline Grace Rivkin Sarah Viola McMillan. John Patrick Shellman. Alberto Santiago Alvarez. Brittany A. Bidwell. Yvette Jahangiri. Taylor Fraser Brown Duncan. Samantha Gwen Atherton. Victoria Rose Gray. Celine Noel Tobia. Philip Glass. Alex Cameron Jolly. Benjamin David Skelton.
Samantha Quo. Daniel Kanan. Marissa Catherine Eckelberger. Brittany A. Blanchard. Paul Burton Kalish. Shaw Tomasby. Stephen M. Gill. Terence Omar McCall. James Chris Mann. Yeah. Ujala Batul. Jessica Kim. Lana Ryan. <laughs> Vanessa Van. <laughs> Loreni M. Yeterian. Stephanie Shin. Jason Engel Kwok. Saba Gomaschi. Chapri Davudi. <laughs> Joseph Musa Tube. <laughs> Nora Kurd Misto. Vivian Tran. Shazib Hassan Rahim. Mark Anthony Cordy. Hunter C. Lepard. J. 
Jared David Shahar. Piper Broccoli. Megan Sterritz. Madeline Elaine Ong. Isabel Q. Chow. Madeline Bennett. Taylor N. Nash. Monica Mishriki. Paula Jasmine Cassian. Justin Alexander Caleb. Nicole Emily Rickard. Paula Bautista. <laughs> Natalie Sagun. <laughs> Sulema Poron. Nina Tumalak. <laughs> Olivia Marie Mercado. <laughs> Zihad Amin. Mitchell Alfred Guzman. Madeline Elizabeth Dupeso. Zachary Robert Beerscheid. Caden McClure. Andrew Fierro. Ty Stamen. Kara Elizabeth Domi. <laughs> Alexandra Amos. <laughs> Nicole Antoinette Melhouse.
Amanda Rose Erickson. Cade Anthony Thomas. Elijah Connor McLaughlin. Alexander Julio Silva. Truman Hans the Third. Ali Hyder. Cynthia Miriam Corcho Gomez. Shane Riley McDaniels. John Meredith Long Murphy. Kaylin Nguyen Lay. Asia Chersuria. Corbin Lowell Smith. Alex Ji Hoon Jong. Holly Rianne Williams. Ryan John Melford. Levin Harrison. Casey Brett Weber. Ryan Patrick Glodeman. John Thomas Jones. Kevin Lewis Verhan. David Pham. Robert D. Chan. Rebecca Lynn Rogers. Laura Ibrahim. Nina Safi. Gabrielle E. Wong. Isaac Abginasaz.
Muhammad Hamza Salim. Aryan Younesi. Tyler Kaoki Goto. Patrick James Nicholas. Madison Alley King. Haley Amber Ritter. Rachel Ann McMains. Riley Nicole Watkins. Kelly Elise Kolar. <laughs> Zakaria H. Amin. Adam Kazarian. Zachary Princey. Gabriel David Galloway. Cassie Sands. Matthew Chilup Hong. Kyla Nguyen. Aubrey A. Gibson. Hillary Christine Helensky. Caitlin Ray Bradshaw. Emily Nicole Paget. Hannah Lauren Malco. <laughs> Sofia Milagros Silva. <laughs> Anagen Talk the Buyer. Rosfell Micah Makasayat. <laughs> Rochelle Nicole Miller.
Rachel Amy Fagali. Amy Stubblefield. <laughs> Ariana Roshanzire. <laughs> Daniel Timothy Allen. Hello, I'm Ralph Bizarone, EMBA class of 2014. As your Alumni Association president, I'm thrilled to be among the first to welcome you, our newest graduates, to the Chapman University alumni community. To the class of 2023, welcome and congratulations. What does it mean to be a Chapman graduate? You are now part of a global community that is over 50,000 members strong. Chapman alumni are industry leaders, innovators, and world changers who rise to new challenges and seek opportunities to make an impact. Ethical global citizens who are committed to serving the greater good, who look out for fellow alumni, cheer each other on, and when opportunities come along, always think Chapman first. As part of the Chapman alumni community, you'll stay in touch with the people who matter to you, like your former classmates and the faculty who guided your education. And you'll also expand your horizons as you cross paths with fellow alumni across the globe. It's much more than a network. These are powerful connections that last a lifetime. Together, you play a vital role at Chapman, both on and off campus, from volunteerism and mentorship to attending events and recruiting future Panthers. Alumni are the ambassadors of the Chapman experience who inspire each other and the next generation of the Chapman family. Wherever you go, wherever life leads you, you can count on the support of your Chapman alumni community because once a Panther, always a Panther. At Chapman, we know that inspiration can come from everywhere. It comes from the countless professors you meet whose teaching and research transcend disciplinary boundaries and push the limits of knowledge and innovation. It comes from exceptional students who are national champions, model UN finalists, film festival winners, advocates, artists, scientists, creators, and classmates who expand your thinking as you introduce new ideas to theirs. It comes from a breathtaking performance, working through a group project, that one-on-one -on -one time with a professor who took the time to help you get it. It comes from meeting people with entirely different experiences and perspectives and forging connections that challenge how you see the world. It comes from your history, your family, your community, your curiosity, and your dreams. At Chapman, inspiration thrives in a campus community that pulses with indescribable energy and an intellectual, creative, and social vibrance a community that embraces you in a feeling of belonging while giving you the inspiration you need to do more. An academic community that brings a personalized approach to learning, focused on pushing your limits while surrounding you with the support you need to take risks, knowing that if you fall, we've got you. All while connecting you to a worldwide network of Chapman family members eager to welcome you in so you can shatter conventions and rise to the challenges of a changing world. We call it the Chapman Experience. And in that experience, you'll find what drives you forward. Because here, you'll be immersed in the joy that comes with discovery and the thrill of your curiosity driving your experience. Here, you'll be challenged not to repeat what's known, but to define what can be. For the world, for your community, for yourself. Driven by curiosity. Inspired.
by Chapman. Okay. Congratulations again to all of our graduates. We are so proud of you. And now I'm going to invite you all to turn and show your appreciation to the people who have helped to make this moment possible, your friends and your family who have been cheering for you all along the way. Before we adjourn, I just want to uh, remind you, um, graduates and families and friends, to stop by Kennedy Hall, um, the law school, to take photographs. We're going to have a toast um, and um, just celebrate with each other, with our families and, um, and our professors. So I look forward to seeing all of you there. And with that, I just want to say congratulations again to the class of 2023. This concludes the commencement exercise at Chapman University. Please remain in your seats until the Grand Marshal, platform party, faculty, and students have exited the field. Thank you.